So in the studio uh, today we have a special guest. Uh, she is a Greenfield uh, Memorial University uh, student in which that she's doing a study here in Virgil. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, good. So now um, you do have a uh, long name. <laughs> yes, I do. And it's uh, for me personally, it's hard to uh, pronounce it. Can yes. you please give us your name? Okay, my name is Rumbidzai Kanyangarara. Yeah. Oh. But people call me Rumbi for short. Rumbi for short. Okay. So, like, uh, where are you from? I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Okay. That's in southern Africa for anybody who's not too sure. Yeah, yeah. So, how is your Newfoundland experience compared to being from over there? I don't know. I find people here are probably a little more friendly, more hometown feel here than yeah. back home. Yeah. But I guess both very strong culture. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You find like the crime rate around here is a little bit less? Oh, <laughs> so much less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I must say, Aaron Burgell alone is like pretty much zero crime. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, so it's like. <laughs> If you hear something bad, it's like, what? Yes, <laughs> right? exactly. Yeah. Right, right. So, so now, like, uh, how long have you been in Newfoundland? I moved here in 2010. I did yep. my first degree at Grenfell, and then I yep. moved away to Alberta, and then I moved back to Cornerbrook in September of 2016. Okay. Yes. So from being to the mainland to Newfoundland, I guess you like Newfoundland a lot better. I do, and in Fort McMurray, it was... Mostly like a lot of Newfoundlanders. Because it is the <laughs> Newfoundland capital of Alberta. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. So now, what are you studying and uh, why did you choose it? I'm doing a master's in environmental policy and okay. my focus is on water security. Mm -hmm. I'm just very passionate about drinking water because I feel like it's a basic human right that is often overlooked and just drawing upon my experiences with mm -hmm. not having running water from the municipality for like over 12 years just why? and just like the struggles that yeah. we we experienced and other people who just do not have access to clean water yep. might not be the same level here but no. there are no. still some drinking water issues more yep. so in rural Newfoundland so yes yes exactly so how many more years you got to go I should hopefully be done by July. Oh, yes. nice, nice, nice. So now, what is the uh, extent and the details of the study that you're doing here in Virgil? Okay. Well, I I would like to create a narrative based on people's experiences and their thoughts on drinking water in the community. But I'm especially interested in the previous long, long-term bowl water advisory that was lifted a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So just to look at collaboration, the people who are involved in addressing mm -hmm. the water issues and yep. factors that maybe influenced collaboration and just how business operators, residents, municipal offices, uh, officials, how they feel uh, about drinking water now and mm. what could be done better. Okay. Have you got a nice uh, turnout of people to to help you in this investigation? Uh, so far, no. I guess mm. drinking water might be a bit of a sensitive topic, so maybe yeah. people don't really want to speak to an outsider about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, see, there, there, a few months ago, there was the scare of having water meters on everyone's homes and, and stuff like that, and that kind of discouraged people, right, and stuff. So... But yeah, so I mean, uh, so is this just for like a select group of people or can anybody participate in this if they wanted to? I would love to hear from anybody, from okay. residents, from business operators, from uh, town councillors, hmm. anybody living in Virtue. Okay. So if you would, so if anyone wanted to uh, help her out, uh, how can they contact you? You got an email or, or phone number? I do number? have an email. It's yeah. quite long. <laughs> and I do have a phone number, which might be easier. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
Should I just give it up? Yeah. Okay, 709-638-5739. Okay. So if you want to uh, help her out with her, with her study and uh, help her graduate, yes, please, <laughs> please uh, give her a call. And uh, and while, like you said, you mean it's according to her paper here that uh, you mean it's not mandatory, it's voluntary. Yes. And uh, you mean if you do decide that you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. There's no pressure to do it. Right? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so in a way, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for coming in and just giving us a little bit of information on what you're doing here in town, and good luck to you. Perfect, thank you for having me. You're welcome.